This is Blackmagic's Pocket Cinema Camera, a purpose-built for recording raw or lightly compressed ProRes video with a micro four-thirds lens mount. The body is all metal, making it quite heavy, which is actually an advantage for shooting video since it helps dampen any camera shake. That's very important since the CMOS sensor is very prone to rolling shutter, otherwise known as Jello. On the left of the camera are the headphone power and mini HDMI connectors along with the microphone input which is reduced to one eighth of an inch from one quarter of an inch from its big brother cinema camera, unfortunately. Audio is a wee point of the pocket cinema camera and the flimsy connector doesn't help. Carrying on, we have the record button and playback controls for, for video capture on the top, along with a threaded quarter inch receptor for accessories, which is mirrored on the bottom for your tripod or other support. On the bottom is where you can put the standard Nikon style batteries and memory card. You'll need a SanDisk Extreme 95 megabyte per second card for raw video. The display for the pocket camera is not a touch display, another difference between it and the larger model. As such, we use the keys at the right to activate all the controls, which I actually prefer to the touch screen, though it would be better perhaps to have dial wheels or some other more direct form of control. Overall, navigating between various controls like ISO, white balance, microphone input, and shutter angle is a bit awkward and generally has to be done on every shot on this unautomatic camera. There are also settings for the recording format, which is either RAW or ProRes. Uh, the larger camera also supports DNX HD, and the pocket cinema camera doesn't have that option. You can also choose film or video dynamic ranges, but since you paid for 12 to 13 stops of dynamic range, there's not really much reason for using video. We can also adjust the frame rate. There's low, no slow-mo capture here, just 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. Time-lapse photography is also supported. The final range of settings lets us show zebra stripes to aid uh, exposure adjustments along with screen brightness, dynamic range, and HDMI overlays. Since the screen is fairly dim, it's tempting to bump the brightness, but beware, that'll hurt the already poor battery life. Another big drawback compared to DSLRs or video cameras like the EOS C100 is the relatively small CMOS sensor. It's a touch under the size of a Super 16 chip, so the Micro Four Thirds lenses effectively become much longer, and you're missing out on all the fun of depth of field, the bokeh, etc. This is where Metabones comes to the res rescue with its purpose-built pocket cinema cam adapter. It reduces the crop factor from 2.88 times to 1.75 times, while effectively changing an f1.8 lens to f1.0, for instance. That gives the camera back a good chunk of its depth of field, while adding better low light performance to boot, which it sorely needs. Despite some of these limitations, the Black Magic Pocket Cine Camera is a serious tool and it does produce amazing images, better than your camcorder's MPEG video by far. Arguably, the video is even better in terms of detail and dynamic range than cameras costing 10 times as much, thanks to the 12-bit RAW codec. Though the footage will look a little flat coming out of the film dynamic range setting, it can be strongly graded thanks to all that DR. You'll also be able to recover highlights from blown out footage and the end result looks far more filmic than you may be used to with standard DSLR footage thanks to the subtle falloffs. So that concludes our look at Blackmagic Design's Pocket Cinema Camera, which brings us to perhaps the best part, the price. It runs a mere $995, which is quite a steal considering that it produces such professional looking results. But realistically, you'll probably have to spend another $1,000 at least to get a workable system. And if you want the Metabones adapter, and you should, you'll have to tack on another $489. Still, there's virtually nothing out there that produces raw video for even close to that price. Mm -hmm.